Hi you guys, thanks for watching. So this is what's called a solar well. And I think you guys will be amazed by this. I was, thought it was pretty cool. Some, uh, I'm sure it's for water and livestock out here. I don't know who put the well in, but I guarantee you, they put some money into it. So if you see this ditch here, takes off that way. And this was a lot of the land that Ed Harshberger developed out here between Dillon's Farm, which is that way, and the grain shed, which is that way. It's about a five mile stretch here. But as you can see, there's a well here, and it must be good water, or else you wouldn't be able to use it for livestock. If it was brash, that means salty. Salty brash. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. That's the well point. That's the solar panels that feed the electric pump that's down in there. If I had to guess, I'm saying that's probably 100, 120 foot well to get to good water. Okay. You see this trench here? It takes off and goes that way. So that kind of takes off towards the east by northeast that way and I mean I have no idea how far that goes but it goes a long ways I think that this probably supplies it looks like three different troughs I'm not going to follow them to find out where they're at I came out unarmed by accident today there's that trench and it goes out that way to the And, excuse the wind, it's a little bit light wind today. And there's this trench, and it takes off due west, this way, due west and follows Little Pigeon Road, which is right there. And probably feeds one or two troughs, I don't know. But, as you can see, it looks like about a three inch black pipeline. I don't know why it's dug up here. Maybe it has some problems with having to repair it. I don't know. I don't know if it's a BLM well, a private well. I have no idea. There is no no trespassing signs. And I would never mess with this, this guy's hard work. It looks like there's another one that goes that way to the south. Boy, that one goes a long way. So this one well probably feeds four different troughs and I would imagine there's a valve system somewhere down in here so you can turn the water to one trough one direction or the other so as you can see any holes fill up with trash tumbleweeds everything just as quick as you dig them so I don't know if they're going to come back in here and bury this they should be for winter as long as everything's good. But there's the well. There's the solar panels that feed the electric pump. And then the pipe goes to the west, east, northeast, west by northwest, that one. And then that one there that goes to the south. And I would imagine, like I said, it's still water cattle left out here. So so you guys kind of see what's going on. That's actually a pretty cool setup. Very cool setup for out here. I'm surprised how, um, in the distance they must have took forever to fill those pipes. I mean, I'll show you guys the diameter of the pipe. Looks like it's three inch black pipe. It rolls out, so they had a trencher and probably a truck with a big roller on it. the valve, three inch line, and it's pretty cool. It can take forever to fill that line, but once they do, and then a drip thing at the end, and usually the troughs have the equivalent to what you have in your toilet, a float stopper valve, and when the water gets up, it shuts it all off, and then probably a sensor on, right here, well, let's go back and see. 
I picked up their snow shovel. They have a snow shovel out here for taking the snow off of the solar panels in the winter. This is probably mostly winter rangeland because it doesn't really snow that much down here. Last winter was a big exception. I'm sure there was cows that died out here last year and died everywhere, not only here. Lots of places in North Carolina. But this is the brain set up for it. Subdrive solar. Solar submersible pump controller. So this controller, I would imagine, senses a certain pressure and will shut the pump off. So once all these pipes are filled and the water quits running because the floats have shut the water valves off at the very end of these pipes. So, I mean, look at that, you guys. Somebody put a lot of time. You got a trench, and usually they trench at least three feet to get below the frost line. Because even though this is the salt flats and it's desert, it gets cold as hell out here in the winter. It really does. And I'm not sure how long ago they trenched this. You can tell not very long ago. One thing I always do when I trench out in this area, I'll take a tractor and one of the back tires and one of the front tires you put in this ditch and you pack it down and you push more dirt on it and you pack it down again otherwise it sinks like this so same thing holds true with any hole you dig out here after it settles it will start sinking you'll see it hard hard alkali clay what the dirt is mixed with sand and gravel. But that's a really nice setup. I'm sure the rancher put a pretty dime into it. Look on top of the wild cap, see if it says something. Beautiful setup though for watering cap. Sometimes they're that good. Most of them aren't, but you never know. The youngsters getting excited and running and playing. As you guys can see, the underwear are starting to roll in. I'm guessing when we get this, there's usually a high pressure system. So that's Colorado, New Mexico, Utah. Arizona, where those four states come together. There's usually a high pressure system right close to there when we start getting this monsoonial flow. Today is the 27th of May, 2023. This is like a one year since Dylan Rounds went missing. I think almost one year now. If this is the day, I'm not sure if it was today or tomorrow. It is the uh, Memorial Day weekend. That's a really neat setup. You guys would have had to have to haul water to cows out in this area before you learn to appreciate something like that. I've done it with a water truck for years and years. And I mean, you can see one goes west, one goes northeast, one goes northwest, and this one goes south. And wherever the trough is, it's so far out I don't see it. Unless it's over there where that green shrubbery is from being watered. But I think it's a lot further than that. Looks like it was set up for water. I'll stop and let's just drive over there and see what it is. get off of this road before it starts raining or else I won't be happy in a two-wheel drive in some of these spots like that. So
For the most part, this is a pretty good road though for out here. There's a lot of gravel on it. There's a few wet spots, but usually by this time of year you're pretty good unless you get a hard, hard rainstorm and then it's just in spots. For the most part, the road is pretty good. But I think there's an old, I think a pond dig up here. I'm going to stop and check it out if it's to see what it is, if I think that's what it is. We'll go in here and look really quick. And like I said out here, you guys, nobody's sneaking up on anyone unless you're dumb Dave. It's so flat out here, you can see forever. See anyone coming for miles? See what I mean? It's as flat as it gets till you hit a hill <laughs> for miles in each direction. And I don't know if that pipeline is right there. I don't know if they've got a feeder tube here, but this is a bar ditch thing. Yeah, I can tell there was water in here. See all the grass that's built up. That means there's an excessive amount of moisture still left in the ground. It'll dry up in another month though. But this is definitely an old pond. And if there is, it's overflow. There should be a trough and another well around here somewhere. Let's see. Glad I got to get out and do some walking today. I haven't walked real hard since uh, being over in the Cherry Creek Range about six days ago. Last Saturday anyway, so a week ago. I was able to get some yard work done, what I can do. And my son did the rest. There's another old trail. That was probably Pigeon Road back in the old days. See the little basin? Yeah, lots of sagebrush around this one. All these white spots are old cow tracks that have filled in the soft mud. The white spots are where the water sat for a long time and then it gets a little alkali stain. A 
Okay, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and shut off and head home. I can see the rain is coming, see the dark clouds. I don't want to be out here when the lightning starts, so I'll sign off. Thanks for watching.